The Mueller report was finally released this week, and it's good news for President Donald Trump and all Americans who believe in the sanctity of our elections. And the special counsel's report did not find any evidence that members of the Trump campaign or anyone associated with the campaign conspired or coordinated with the Russian government in these hacking operations. In other words, there was no evidence of the Trump campaign collusion with the Russian government's hacking. But it's bad news for those, some in the media, who want to believe that the president is a treasonous crook. Good evening and welcome to a special edition of The Beat from Washington on the first workday since the Mueller probe ended with no chargeable collusion. The special counsel found no connection between the Trump campaign and the Russian interference activities. So this vindicates the president on, on collusion? It does. 22 months after Robert Mueller's investigation began, his report has been delivered. He found no evidence that the guy in the White House conspired with Russia. That's right. The Mueller investigation report is in, and it says there was no collusion. The released and lightly redacted report by the special counsel found that Russians did try to manipulate the 2016 election, but that the president and the Trump campaign had nothing to do with it. As for allegations of obstruction of justice, Attorney General William Barr addressed them in a press conference. Instead, the report recounts 10 episodes involving the president and discusses potential legal theories for connecting those activities to the elements of an obstruction offense. After carefully reviewing the facts and legal theories outlined in the report and in consultation with the Office of Legal Counsel and other department lawyers, the Deputy Attorney General and I concluded that the evidence developed by the special counsel is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. Some analysts and pundits had a particularly hard time with Barr's press conference, accusing him of being in the president's pocket, even questioning his character. I mean, it was an extraordinary political commercial for the president. Uh, he could not find sufficient evidence uh, that there was conspiracy by any American knowingly or by any member of the Trump team. That's great news, but Barr repeating it over and over and over again, six or seven times, I mean, that's, that's a little excessive. I thought to myself, didn't the president at first once ask, where's my Roy Cohn? Oh, well, I guess he may have found him today because he should be pleased with the person who now serves at his pleasure. It, it was much more ringing in its endorsement of the president's conduct than even the, the press conference uh, several weeks ago. And I think he said half a dozen times, no collusion, no collusion. No lawyer, no, no legal presentation presents its conclusion six times. A political messenger, and I know a little bit about that, having been a political messenger all of my career, underscores the central message, particularly if it's on shaky ground, multiple times. Several weeks, sadly, I've seen data coming over the transom to suggest um, that he is not what I thought him to be. You just can't make this up. Pundits are analyzing the amount of times Barr said the word collusion, and others are calling the press conference a, quote, political commercial. The bottom line is, the Mueller report should be the final act in the Russia collusion saga. But of course, knowing the media, that's probably not the case. After years of non-stop media coverage, it appears allegations against the president and his 2016 campaign were overblown. You would think the response to the Mueller report would be relief, not disappointment.